On September 1, 2024, heartbreaking news reverberated across Israel. The families of six hostages, who were taken by Hamas on October 7, 2023, learned of their tragic deaths. These brave individuals, Ori Danino, Almog Sarusi, Carmel Gat, Eden Yerushalmi, Alex Lubanov, and Hirsch Goldberg Polin, endured nearly 11 months in captivity before their lives were cruelly taken. As the nation mourned, many paused for a moment of silence to honor their memory and reflect on the pain of their loss. Ori Danino, 24, was a courageous and selfless young man. He had managed to escape the initial attack at the Nova Music Festival, but his heart led him to turn back to help his friends, Maya, Itai Regev, and Omer Shemtov, who were still trapped. Unfortunately, Ori was captured by the terrorists, and his fate remained uncertain for months. His family, who had been praying for his return, was devastated by the news of his death. Almog Sarusi, 27, was known for his kindness, warmth, and love for life. He attended the Nova Festival with his girlfriend Shachar, and when terrorists attacked, Almog tried desperately to save her life. Despite his best efforts, Almog was captured and taken to Gaza. His family and friends, who described him as a brilliant and funny individual who could draw everyone to him, were heartbroken by the news of his death. Carmel Gat, 40, marked her birthday in captivity after being abducted from her family's home in Kibbutz Be'eri. A student pursuing a degree in occupational therapy, Carmel had returned from a three-month trip to India just days before the October 7th attack. Despite the tragedy that surrounded her, Carmel became a beacon of light for other captives, leading yoga and meditation sessions to bring comfort to those around her. Eden Yerushalmi, 24, had been celebrating her birthday just days before she was kidnapped from the Nova party in Re'im. Her terrifying experience was captured in a phone call with her sister, who kept her calm for hours as Eden fled for her life. Despite her bravery, Eden was ultimately captured, and her family's worst fears were confirmed when her body was returned. Alex Lubanov, 32, was taken from the Nova Music Festival, where he worked as a bar manager. A devoted husband and father, Alex's family, had been clinging to hope that he would return home. Hirsch Goldberg Polin, a 23-year-old American-Israeli, attended the Nova Music Festival with his close friend, Aner Shapira. When violence erupted, they sought shelter in what became known as the Death Shelter. Hirsch was tragically kidnapped from there, and during the attack, he has sustained a severe injury that left him without his hand. In April 2024, a video of Hirsch in captivity was released, the first proof of life his family had received. Despite their tireless efforts in a cross-continental campaign to secure his release, Hirsch's body was found just a mile away from where another hostage, Kad Farhan Al-Qadi, had been rescued alive days earlier. The news of the deaths of these six beautiful souls is profoundly tragic. Yet in the Jewish tradition, there is great importance placed on the proper burial of the deceased, the recovery of their bodies, while heart-wrenching, brought a glimmer of hope amid the darkness. It allowed their families to say goodbye and to honor their loved ones with a dignity that they deserved. As we remember Ori, Almog, Carmel, Eden, Alex, and Hirsch, we must continue to pray and trust in God, holding on to the hope that the rest of the captives will be found alive and that one day such tragedies will be a thing of the past. Please comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. May God bless our soldiers and help us rescue all our captives soon.